it. So today I've got my weekend pickup, which is this transistor clock from the 1960s. So I've picked that up um, from a local second-hand store, um, and I'll give it the main basic uh, cleanup and to get it working as well. So as you can see, it's got a calendar function that can be uh, set with these dials under here and there's a dial under uh, in the back of this to flip the, the day around and uh, generally it's in pretty good condition but I'll give it the, a good once over just to clean everything up on it um, but yeah it's in pretty good condition um, apart from one thing that is the battery compartment has been left to corrode so yeah I'll, I'll fix that and get it running um, it seems to be a common issue because I've seen this on other um, clocks of the same model online so yeah I'll just I'll be able to put something together to fix that and get rid of that rust um, but yeah it's a pretty nice little example so I will See what I can do. I'll clean up some of these little chips and little give it a, just a really good clean. So I shall do this and start this mini restore. Right. So I've got it up on my uh, dinner table, and I'm going to start with taking the glass out and giving it a clean. So from the top here, there's some screws. So I will take that out and start with giving this glass a clean. Then I will follow through with just giving this a clean and seeing if I can get this to go back to how it should be looking. I don't know if that's just old furniture polish that's... Well, it's kind of scratching off, so there could be a bit of hope there. So, yeah, give me a moment and I'll see what I can show you. Right, so I've given it a quick clean. I've taken out the glass. You have to undo this top bit here to... Uh, remove the glass and it slots out. Um, give the, uh, given the glass a clean, um, given the edge here a bit of a polish up, um, buffed out that old polish, furniture polish. It's just a little bit of a mark there, but other than that, it's a lot more improved than it was before. And just yeah, given just everything a bit of a clean. Um, gave as I say, I had to take this top bit off here. That. Uh, which I gave quite a good clean to and then just gave the sides uh, just a really good clean as well so next step will be to um, open up the back or remove this battery compartment and um, see if we can put some kind of repair for that and um, yeah just have a quick look inside and give anything a grease but for now that is what I'll do for tonight so yeah, looking pretty good. <clears throat> right, so um, coming to the end of cleaning this up. Um, so I've soaked it in vinegar for a few days because the acid will um, break down the uh, the rust that was on it. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit pitted. There's a few holes in it, but um, definitely a lot better. And it's actually able to make a connection for now. So. <clears throat> I was able to wire brush it down a bit, uh, remove a lot of that rust, and it is actually making a connection and working now. So um, I'll just put it up on the up on the um, wall and uh, just see how it looks. But yeah, so far so good. Right, so I've currently put my clock up on the wall and I've got it running. Um, it's been running for a few days now and it was speeding up by a whole day so by lowering the uh, the um, pendulum um, I was able to slow it down a bit better and um, well it's keeping time pretty well I think it's just a little slow but um, yeah it's ticking along quite well now I've kept the um, front face off so I can um, adjust make any adjustments in that but, uh, look, I can see my phone there. Ooh. Anyway, um, just while I'm still doing adjustments, I'm, I've um, just got it, the face off so I can make... Oh, I'm repeating myself now. Hmm. 
anyway, yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna... So those two rods there are the um, what makes a chime, and those little hammers just hit against them. Those two rods will be at two different um, lengths or something, just to make a slight off tone to each other. But uh, yeah, that's quite neat. The little motor here runs runs that, um, but generally the clock itself runs itself by the looks. But yeah. Right, so I've got it all back together. Um, it's re running really well now, and uh, haven't had an issue since. Uh, I've got the face plate back on it, and I've just got it up in my kitchen at the moment, but I'll probably change it to a different part of my house uh, in a bit. But um, yeah, so it's not a perfect restore or anything, it's just sort of, even with that battery um, cover and that, just, just getting it working was the main purpose, and... Um, if I have to do any maintenance in the future, that's fine, I can do that easy. So, yeah, um, it's came up quite clean. I had a small problem where, when I was cleaning it, that the uh, the lines here literally just they washed off. Um, didn't even take anything at all, they were pretty much coming off. So, that's a bit of a bummer that those patterns came off the glass, uh, but literally they were breaking off anyway, so... It wasn't anything holding them together, but um, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, it's um, running quite nicely. So that as that's ticking along, that builds up a charge on a transistor, keeps it running. So, but yeah, I think this is quite a good little sample of a clock. I've got a few bits and pieces to fix up, like a few scratches and that, but uh, yeah, no, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, so. That's just a quick video I've made, uh, just to show getting something that wasn't working, and probably hasn't been working for years, um, running again. Uh, pretty straightforward, I'm not going overboard with restoring it or anything, but just getting it working again. Um, I know like the battery is not the best area, and just getting it to um, eat away that rust was the main thing. I'll probably look at repairing that even better later on, but um, for now it's just literally getting it running again. Alright, well, thanks for watching.